What's up, y'all? What's up, y'all? I got a family with a visa. Let's get into the D. I got my honey sauce with me. So, y'all, we are about to get into Krishan Rock for this session of the video. She said, I'll drop everything for you. Now, her last, well, the, her, the boyfriend that we thought was the boyfriend who ne they necessarily the boyfriend, he got the same dimples, but he is not the boyfriend, okay? Uh, uh, he is not claiming her, which means it is someone else. But whoever this someone else is, she says she will drop everything for him. But damn. My question to y'all is, who y'all think this man is? I don't know, but who wants to stare at Blueface all the time? Rashawn would have. Yeah, that baby gonna end up looking a little bit like him. Just a little I'm bit. I'm talking about all seven of him on her. Oh <laughs> my God. Who is I really forgot. gonna stare at Blueface? That man, well, whatever man she talking to, because who wouldn't be is me. First of all, I we ain't going we we're not even gonna be seen out in public. Until you uh, delete, control, alt, and delete okay. them tattoos off your body. What in the world? But somebody is going to love Krishan, and that's going to be that curly-haired man. Well, she need to... Uh... She needs Baby, some new skin. Picture her. Picture her. Oh, she needs some new skin. Look. <laughs> Not some new skin. She do. She need a new skin, honey. Like, oh, oh. Oh, for her, the tattoos. I keep uh -huh. forgetting them, girl. She'll get rid of them one day. <laughs> Uh, hopefully it's ASAP. Okay. Child, y'all let us know what y'all think down in the comment section about. <laughs> Lying like a rug is crazy. I got to say it over y'all. <clears throat> oh. What's up, y'all? So we about to get into Minister Sean. She's about to tell us how she been feeling about the whole situation. Because, you know, she ain't said nothing about it. But this right here, I but think she's weeks. talking to her wife. I think she's talking to her wife, and we about to get into it. Let's get it. Mm. Sunday devotion. I was sitting here uh, preparing my heart and mind for service. Okay. And um, I was doing my meditation, going through my Bible, reading. Okay. And something keeps, keeps, it just keeps on jumping out to me, and it's been jumping out to me for over a year. Okay. <clears throat> and now with everything that's going on in my life, I understand why it's jumping out. Okay. Mm -hmm. Matthew, the sixth chapter. Girl, Matthew. I thought it was about to be some accountability. Nope. Okay, so why is jumping out, Pastor? Matthew, the sixth chapter. Let me read what it says about forgiveness. Read it to us, Pastor. Matthew, the sixth chapter. Matthew 6, verses 14 through 15 say this. For if you forgive others when they sin against you, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. But if you do not forgive others their sins, your Father will not forgive your sins. Forgiveness is key. For One thing about some church folk, is they like to use certain scriptures when it's convenient for them. Yep. Can I get a hallelujah in the hot tub? Okay, amen. Now, Pastor done used her words. Mm -mm. Excuse me. She used her wife's words against her. Because basically, she said, you mad at me. But since you mad at me, God ain't going to forgive you because you can't forgive me. Child. That's what I heard. What did you hear? That's hear? exactly what she said. Okay, let's let her continue. Forgiveness is a part of our daily walk, uh -huh. whether we love God or not. Uh -huh. Harboring unforgiveness okay. and, 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 and grudges yeah. and bitterness yeah. can literally take you out mm. physically. You may think that you Well, what about lying? Can lying take us out physically? I believe so. I thought so. Okay, we go hurting the other person, but you're honestly, really, and truthfully and what yourself. Tooth tooth truthfully. Truthfully. On this day last year, I wrote this down. Okay. Uh -huh. I wrote this down on this day last year. I wrote this down 90 days ago. Uh -huh. I wrote this down six months ago. Uh -huh. I actually wrote this down about 60 days Lie. ago. Uh -huh. And it keeps coming up in my spirit. Uh -huh. It says forgiveness is the very essence of our faith. Uh -huh. It is the core of it. Uh -huh. It is something all of us want to receive, uh -huh. but most of us hesitate to give. Uh -huh. Jesus makes it clear, however, that we can't have it without giving it. Uh -huh. There's no way and she that wrote is where all I am that. In my life right that's what she said that she wrote. It. Days, she wrote it a year ago. And she wrote it the Two same way she every could, time. She could. That's too many words. <sighs> I count them like 30. A, a, a lot. Forgiveness is key. 
I've always been a person that forgave. You forgive because you be the one who be doing that book. You be lying. You like be a lying, rug. Pastor. And when you're lying, you want somebody to forgive <laughs> that bull that be coming out of your mouth. I'm trying to tell you. So it's like, if you don't, you so like, what? You can't forgive me? The nerve of you not to forgive me. <laughs> I know I done messed up, but you can't forgive me? Child. It's all I hear from this pastor. I'm going to let you finish a little more, pastor. Because God has always forgiven me. Uh. I've always been a person that offered grace. Uh. Because God has mm -hmm, given me mm -hmm, grace mm -hmm. and mercy. No, 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 no. You offer grace because you know the amount of bull that you be putting out yeah. here. In the, in she the, trying in to the knock universe. it out her eyes when she keep looking to the left or the right and left and right. Or the left oh, or the yeah. Left. She, she can't keep... look nobody in her eyes when she be she talking that She thought she had windshield wipers for all the <laughs> shit she was saying. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not going nowhere. Still full of shit. <laughs> Windshield wipers is hilarious. Over it. Forgiveness. How many of you can actually say that you're forgiving people today instead of walking around holding that on the inside of you? Ah. Uh. Forgiveness is the core of our emotional well being. Ah. Uh. And statistics show, and I've seen it with my own eyes, Have that mm -hmm. unforgiving people are emotionally sick people. Their bitterness is a disease of the spirit, and it is inevitable that the, that the unforgiving <laughs> person will eventually experience physical illness as well. So instead of her saying, <clears throat> I'm sorry, wife, I did you wrong. And I would like for you to forgive me because, you know, I did wrong. I apologize, though. No accountability. No, nothing. Just gaslit her way all in through that Sunday thought. Mm -hmm. Sunday thought. She gaslit her way all the way through it. Mm -hmm. I ain't gonna lie. We throw out the narcissistic word a lot. But sis, you are narcissistic. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now, this is the pure definition of narcissism. And this is the real definition of gaslighting. Yes, you, in fact, hurt someone. And then you turn around. And say, but since you still hurting me, you the bitter one. She's saying, I said I was sorry. You can't I, forgive I, me? I've repented. God forgave me. Why can't you? <sighs> <laughs> I was about to send her to her brother. Straight to hell. You know what Listen, I'm saying? That, that close because, cousin uh, for sure. <laughs> Child, yeah, she lying like hell. Listen, Pastor. Now, I don't know. Your wife was falling for a lot of stuff. But I'm going to tell you right now, we ain't. Uh -uh. But you can continue. She ain't pulling no wool over my eyes. Mm -mm. Well, y'all let us know what y'all think about it down in the comment section below, girl. Bye. We can finish on here. That was the, uh, the short side of it. Okay, continue. Forgiveness is key spiritually. It's key physically, it's key emotionally, it's key mentally. Unforgiveness and bitterness and holding grudges will drive you crazy. But we serve a God that says if we forgive, then we will be forgiven. Oh. The forgiveness is not for the other party. The forgiveness is for ourselves. I did a whole Bible study series on it earlier this year that, yeah. you know, when people do things to you, you can forgive doesn't mean you have to be in a relationship. No, this nigga's a fraud. You don't have to be in a relationship. <sighs> With them, you can change the rules of engagement, <clears throat> but you are to forgive because the Bible says that we should forgive. Oh, wow. And if we don't forgive, nobody's going to hurt from that unforgiveness but you. I pray that each of you have a blessed Sunday and that you have a more, a, a, an even more blessed week. Forgiveness is the core of who we are as a people. That's what God says that we as should do. As our people. It's the thing that we need to do. Be blessed. So this Girl, morning get off my sitting. phone. Now, this is the next thing. <sighs> oh, uh-uh. Because she... She is not a part of the church anymore or something like that. Pastor LaShondra Lockhart will be on a sabbatical which is basically paid leave until further notice. It was determined by the apostolic and ep 
Episcopal, ah, no disrespect, council with the support of her apostle to advise as such. She will not appear for any engagements as a guest speaker nor speak on her platform, uh, Deliverance by Grace Ministries. Please allow her and her family time of rest during this time. Girl. We ask that no one reaches out concerning this decision. I almost feel like she wrote this, She y'all. did. Because why is she posting it on her own page? She did. Because she wrote it with her ignorant self. That don't even sound right. Listen to the last little part right here. It says, please allow her and her family time. <laughs> uh, girl, who died? Who died? Y'all. Rest during this time. We ask that you, that no one reaches out. Girl, who who you stopping? I just, I don't understand. I think this lady wrote this. She did. Anyway, so we about to get to the next thing. Um... Girl. What's her name? Uh... Rashawn. Shoe fit. Something fit. Yeah. <laughs> this nigga. Yeah. Ray Shonda. Ray Shonda. All right. I said a Ray Shonda. Uh, but where is her? Y'all, what's her ch- page name? Forgot. It ain't Ray Shonda. It's something fit. Shoe fit. Something. Uh, girl, where you at? Jesus, is it? It ain't this. Here it is. Good God, shop AIF. All right. I know. Now over. this is a video of her speaking about girl. She over it. Okay, she's over it. I just want to put that out there. She is over it. <clears throat> All right, y'all. We about to speak about um. Rayshonda, she is over the situation, and we just gonna go ahead and talk about this. Let's get it. I said, let's get it. I said, I said play. Okay, well, let's. I know. Okay, we go. I know. Y'all want me to be absolutely devastated. Right. Y'all want me sliding down a wall throwing up. <laughs> <laughs> I, know, I know y'all mad at me for bringing it to the internet, but did you get scammed? No. Okay. okay. Did you marry somebody that was a complete stranger? Uh Uh-uh, friend. Uh Huh? Did you pay somebody's tuition? Ooh. No. So you don't get to tell me how I handle my situation. Okay. Okay. I feel like I didn't think about her son while I posted this on the internet. And you're absolutely incorrect. I did think about him. Okay? But guess what? Why everybody taking up for her? That's crazy. Child, they... They are take. They feel like they're taking up for the child because they throw the child up in there, but they're really taking up. Mm. She didn't think about him, which set all of this off. So I'm confused as to why y'all hey, mad at me. I didn't do this. Oh, you can't love someone and then blast them on the internet. Honey, all of it was fake. Okay. okay? So when y'all asking me, did I love her? Do I love her, honey? I don't feel no type of way. Fair. I am numb. Fair. Mm-hmm. And I absolutely believe that it was all a long con. Okay. I don't it believe was. she loved or cared about me. So I don't feel no type of way about that. There are those, oh, she's a scammer too. She had her hands in it too. She she knew. What should I have known? Quickly. Okay. Tell me when and what should I have known? First of all, I, I will say when that fake, not when the fake table, when that table came and got repoed. <laughs> She should have known something then. She definitely should have known something. That table got repoed, y'all. I just can't believe that. Huh? There is a lady that I talked to that they've been together over 10 years. She doesn't even know how much her mortgage is. Why? Because her husband pays her mortgage. She pays the utilities and he pays the mortgage. You all are acting like I was given a reason not to trust. When I found out is when I left, okay? What happened to make me say anything in the first place? Again, I wasn't going to say anything. (laughs) But see, what you're not going to do is talk about me 
under the guise of scripture. Okay. Okay. If you go back and watch her videos, she was coming for me. Okay. Don't act like y'all don't know. Yeah, she was okay. sure talking about you on that forgiveness Sunday. She that forgiveness was. one, that she her little devotion Sunday. Uh, yes, yeah, we just talked. We just reacted to that friend. Mm -hmm. She was talking about you. And you're not gonna come for me Fair. unless I send for you. Fair. And since she sent for me, this is how this is ending. So again, I don't feel any type of way about what I did or how I did it, because nobody else will get scammed. Now the not from her. Why she ain't putting nothing up over oh. into this house? Two weeks after my surgery, I was told the owner had cancer, his children were selling his property, and we had 30 days to move. Mm, that's okay? a crazy Do lie. Do I believe it now? Absolutely not. Did I believe it then? Yes. Oh, What's up, uh, y'all? Uh, 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 I had no reason not to. Uh -huh. He was an older gentleman, and he was looking kind of frail. What am I supposed to deduce from that? Deduce. I didn't know. As far as the dining room table goes, as soon as I found out about that, yes, I left in anger. Because why lie? We can afford a dining room table. Okay. Okay. So y'all saying, oh, didn't you tell her mom thank you? I absolutely did. At the beginning of 2021, before the table was quote unquote delivered. And then you all are asking, well, where were you when the table? Don't y'all know that I work? Why they not asking okay, her these questions? Okay, they ain't asking her shit. Minister John. That's crazy. I am like the questions are so asinine. It's ridiculous. Now her response was that the table was taking too long, and so she just got a table. And I asked them why lie to me, and she said she don't know. So I said, No, nah, I wouldn't have been able to deal with I don't know. I would leave you for lying to me about a table. Am I petty for that? Am I petty for leaving you for lying to me about a table? That's crazy. If you lied to me yes, again, if I had to tell your mama, I'm thank leaving. you. That was in December. Your mama went long too. I did what I said I was going to oh. do. So then you all say, well, Rashonda, it's partly your fault because you were paying the rent on the 15th. When I moved in and said when my account's payable, when I'm paying the rent, it's on the 15th. And they said, okay, as long as you pay your late fees with it, how is it my fault that it still didn't get paid on the 15th when I sent money? Well, I will say if the 15th is rather late to pay the rent because baby mommy paid on the first. So I don't understand. But whatever. You all wanted to be my fault so bad. The problem is the three NSF charges. The problem is it not being paid on the 15th. But the 20th, the 21st, the 22nd bounce checks. Calm down. My monthly bills are way more than hers. I have you know, two children in college. Do you think they qualify for anything? Who do you think is paying for what? Mm. Mm. And her tuition. Mm. Yes, I was foolish enough. And then to her tuition wife. for what? Probably for minister school. Oh, pay for her tuition. Oh, child, over. See how that sounds? Why would not if I have the means to do so? This is what I'm saying. You all are acting like I was supposed to know something when though. Fran, I That's hate that I'm you saying. did that. All I'm doing is like living that. my life and helping the people that I love. Y'all want me to be the bad guy so bad, right? No, I had not talked to her ex-wife. Yes, oh. many people only go on what the person is telling them about their ex. How was I supposed to know? Please, let me know. That okay. I ain't gonna lie, friend. She just didn't do no research, y'all. My friend. Know who you're sleeping with. You to got do. to know who you're married. Why did they get married? Okay. They did what they were supposed to do. Y'all need to leave that alone, okay? I'm not sure. Why y'all want me to be the bad guy so bad? I had to be involved. Oh, I had lashes. to have known. When the money ran Ooh, out, I hate you just did that, friend. Money uh, ran out over here. I should so just do it like that, sure friend. You didn't follow no look line. My brother didn't tell me that he was cash app and rent until I told him what was going on. Prior to that, how was I supposed to know? That's two adults handling their own business. Uh, that's true. I'm not in that. Y'all want me to be a part of this so bad. Why? But again, you all want me to be the bad guy so bad. You want me to have some kind of involvement in this. And I do not. Okay? So. Justice got herself time, together and said what, what she had to say. was I supposed to know? You let me know. Over it. And over it.
Child. That's what I'm talking about. I know. Look, y'all let us know what y'all think down in the comment section below. Do you think she should have known something? Um, I think a couple of things she absolutely should have known, but definitely not everything. Mm -hmm. I will say the friend borrowing that thousand dollars or her borrowing a thousand dollars from the friend definitely should have been, she should have been, uh, she should have known about that. Mm -hmm. Um, other than that, it probably would be hard for her to know about the rest, but I will, I would be checking in to making sure the rent get paid. Like I told y'all, I pay the rent, but I give it to her. She deposit it. You know what I'm saying? Give it to the people. So I just, I don't know. I don't know. What you think on this own? Child, she should have known, first of all, how many aliases she has. I mean, everybody has an alias, right? Your middle name, like you can do that. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It's like, she should have known that. She definitely should have known about her rent. I feel like she should have known about that because it was, at one point she said that um, a letter was there. You know what I'm saying? So this is not the first time she said that it happened. So I feel like somewhere you should have known that this just wasn't right. You know what I'm saying? But I, my, my home girl was just busy. I feel like she was just busy and was like, she said I that, I got to I gotta make this money, honey. And I ain't got put out yet. And here you are, you got put out. Yeah, y'all let us know what y'all think down in the comment section below, girl. We are done with this. Um, yeah. Do you think uh, she had anything to do with it? We want to know. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Shabay.